Hey, what's going on, Capricorns? Coach Jero here. I'm gonna do your two-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, all energies can be reversed. If you're looking for something more in depth and private, um, check out my website, butchtarot.com. I offer personal readings on there. Um, that will also be in the description box, that link, as well as my Facebook and Instagram. Feel free to check me out there. And uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Always feel free to comment down below. And today I'm going to be using a deck I've been working with for a while. Um, haven't publicly used it, but I feel like the energy is right now. So we got the Mystic Monday. And we're going to use it. Let's see what we have. Let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn for the next two weeks? All right. So the first thing I see is I feel like there's someone that is trying to get your attention. They're putting a lot of work in to get your attention. A lot of effort. But I feel like I feel like you're not having it. I feel like there's something about this person that that has you taking a step back. Five of Cups, look at the negatives of the positives. There's something about this person that doesn't seem right to you. So, so very fishy energy. I feel like you recently went through a lot of changes and I feel like You've kind of moved away from some past um, situations, some past people that weren't necessarily uh, genuine. So I feel like that is playing a role here. I feel like you're bringing some of that past energy into this. I feel like, like I said, your suspicions on this person, I don't feel are, 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 are warranted. Um, I don't feel any... any um, negative energy from this person. I don't feel any, um, you know, ill intent. What I do see from this person is this is somebody you can have a lot of fun with. This is somebody that's going to bring a lot of happiness to your life. That Knight of Wands, that's like a Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person is going to bring a lot of balance to your life. With that Temperance card, some more Sagittarius energy. And I feel like this person is exactly who they say they are. We got some Aries energy with that, uh, the Emperor. I feel like you're making the wrong call here with the Judgment card in reverse. I feel like you're making the wrong call. And the reason I, I got that is because I feel like past people, past things are burdening you. Um, and you need to let them, with that Death card, that Scorpio energy, you need to 
not bring old energies into new situations. Just because you've been hurt in the past doesn't mean everybody coming forward is going to hurt you. Just because somebody that actually shows interest in you, it doesn't mean they're going to they're they're out to get you. Like I said, you can have this is someone a lot of a lot of good energy from this person, a lot of balance, bring a lot of balance to your life. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. This person, you know, there's a lot of good things coming here. I mean, take your time. You don't have to jump into the situation, but don't shut it down before it begins. A lot of emotional fulfillment from this. Don't miss out because we're thinking about somebody in the past, thinking about just because other people screwed you over in the past doesn't mean everybody coming forward is going to screw you and screw you over. Um, this person, there's no, there's no ill intentions here. There's no negative energy at all. The only thing I see is I feel like you're you're focusing too much on past energies. That has to come to an end. Look at the world card. That cycle has to come to an end. Yeah, I feel like you've been screwed over in the past. And yeah, I feel like there's people that's done you wrong because you took a chance on them. But this is this situation here with this person. We got the judgment card in reverse, the five of five of cups, means you're looking at this in the wrong in the wrong light here. I mean, I feel like this could be a really good thing. And like I said, I don't see any sneakiness. We have the seven of swords. I feel like you need to give this a chance. I feel like the signs are all there. This could be a very long term thing. Like I said, we got the family card and the Ten of Cups. We got the Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment. Um, the Knight of Wands, having a good time with this person. This person's going to make you laugh. They're, they're going to make you smile. And allow them the chance to make you smile. Don't shut them down. Like I said, take it slow. You don't have to jump right into this, but don't shut it down. Don't. Don't put up your walls. Like all that negative thinking, all that thinking that everybody's out, out to get you, that has to come to an end with that death card. Like I said, this person's gonna bring balance. I don't, with that temperance energy, all, it's all about balance. This person's putting in the work to gain your favor. And they're not doing it out of any with a hidden agenda they're doing it because they want to they're doing it they see you they're attracted to you uh emotionally physically they're drawn to you and they just want to share with you what how they feel like i said we got to change how we look at this because it, at the end of the day this person's for real we got the emperor this person got their shit together they know what they want they want what they want is you That old way of thinking that everybody is out to get you, that has to come to an end. Or you'll never you'll never be happy. Truly. And I want you to be happy. I want you to with the world card, that has to come to an end. You gotta put that to rest with that death card. It, it, that's over. Good times are coming, but you gotta allow it to, you know, you gotta allow your intuition to you know, you gotta allow you gotta allow yourself to listen to your intuition and let your intuition tell you that this is a good thing. Don't allow people that screwed you over in the past. If we get screwed over in the past and then we allow new opportunities to pass us by because we're afraid to get screwed over, then those people from the past are still screwing you over. Only good things here. I only see good things, and I want you to be happy, one hundred percent. Everybody, anybody that watches this channel, um, as long as I've been doing this, I want you to be happy. And this is what I see. And it's not your fault that people in the past screwed you over. It's not your fault that you have, um, sometimes you have thoughts that future people will screw you over because it happens. But what I'm telling you is what I see. And what I see is this person is not looking to screw you over. They're not... There's no hidden agenda. There's no, um, 
it's only love. All I see is love. They just want to love you. They just want to have a good time with you. They just want to move forward with you. And like I said, this could be a long-term thing because we got that Ten of Cups. Don't fight the good things. You know, protect yourself from the bad energies, but don't protect yourself from people that aren't looking to hurt you. They're only looking to build you up. They're only looking to be with you, make you happy, have a good time with you. You know, like I said, I'm not getting any negative energy from this person. I'm not getting any, any reason to be worried about this. And I'm not going to bullshit you. you. Anybody that watches my channel knows I don't bullshit. I don't. If I see bad things, I'll tell you. I don't see anything bad in this person. I don't see any ill-gotten intent. Um, only good things. And like I always say, ignoring the signs is a good way to be unhappy. Because the signs are telling me that there's nothing but goodness here. Trust your intuition. Don't listen, don't listen to your head, don't listen to your heart, listen to your intuition. It'll never lead you down the wrong path. You know, sometimes listen to your, listen to your, listen to your heart and, and listen to your head. Let them have a say, but don't let them control the outcome. You know, because at the end of the day, we can't base anything on, on, on how past people affected us. We have to allow new people the chance, the opportunity to show us what they're worth. And this person wants to do that. And like I said, you don't have to jump in and take a leap of faith with this person. Take your time. They're not going anywhere. Like I said, I, we got the family card on that. So, I mean, they're not planning to go anywhere anytime soon. You got all the time in the world here. That's what I got for you. Be good. Trust your intuition. And see you soon.